Now we're going to do a more complicated and bigger problem. In this problem, we're not just going to convert currency, we're also going to convert our units. One note, in Canada, we use the metric system, while in the United States, they use the imperial system. However, because the U.S. is our closest trade partner, we often use U.S. measurements like feet and miles and pounds when we should be using metric like meters and kilometers and kilograms. That's why if you're going to work in Canada, it's really important to be able to convert Canadian units. So this time you have decided to visit the thrifty market in downtown Bellingham, which is just across the border in the United States. You purchase a quart of black cherry pop for $1.25 per bottle, US. Is this a better deal than Canadian pop, which sells for $5.10 per six pack? Solve the problem by changing the US price into Canadian price per six pack. I'm gonna highlight those. You can see here that we've used dollar sign for both Canadian dollars and US dollars. That's confusing. That's why we're gonna use CAD for Canadian and USD for US dollars. And here are our measurements from above. One US dollar is $1.12 Canadian. Right now, as I'm filming this, both of our dollars are in free fall and nobody knows what will happen with the economy. So I'm going to stick with numbers that got pulled out about 10 years ago. Okay, let's start with this. So the price for the US one is $1.25, and I'm gonna write USD per one quart bottle. I'm gonna say QT means quart. Okay, so it's $1.25 per quart. Let's start multiplying it by things. First, let's get rid of that US dollar. To do that, I want a fraction with US dollar on the bottom. If I put US dollar on the bottom here, and the top there, they'll cancel off nicely. So one US dollar is equal to 1.1218 Canadian. When I do my calculations, you can see that US dollar, US dollar, those nicely cancel. Okay, now let's get rid of quart. So what I'm gonna do is put quart on top. I know over here that four quarts is one US gallon. Four quarts is one gallon. I'm just gonna say gallon and not US gallon. That should be clear. So now I have quart on the bottom, quart on the top, nicely canceled out. Let's add to this. Let's get rid of the gallon now. I know that one gallon is equal to 3.7843 liters. I'm just gonna use a capital L for liters. Okay, now I can cross off gallon. Now I have something that's in Canadian dollars per liter, but I actually want this to be in Canadian dollars per six pack. The good thing about the metric system is that it's pretty easy to convert. One liter, let's just change colors there to make it clearer. One liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. liter liter disappears. Now we have a price per milliliter, which is useful, but we want to get this into cans. In Canada, cans are about, or at least in this case, they're 355 milliliters. Milliliters is on the top to cancel at the bottom, and that's one can. But we want this in a six pack, so let me just cross out milliliter, milliliter, and I want to get one more thing here. I have six cans, is a six pack of pop. Can, can. Okay, I'm going to have to rewrite this whole thing because it's a big equation. 1.25 times 1.1218. I'm gonna leave that Canadian till the end of the there, but I am gonna put it in. I'm just doing things on the numerator at the top. The one here, I don't have to put that in. One here, I don't have to put that in, but I do have to put 355 and six cans, and that is CAD, or the units. Now let's do all the denominators. One, 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 3.7843 times 1,000, and now that's just six pack. And there we have it. Our units, the only ones that were canceled were Canadian dollars, 
per six pack. So we have this in here. Now we just plug this into a calculator. I'd like you guys to do this at home. Just so you know, when you're doing these videos, it's best if you're following along with your calculator. You can pause me whenever you want and make sure that you got 3.16, once we round it, Canadian dollars per six pack. If you didn't, that's something you should come ask me and we'll talk about your calculator and we'll go over some calculator techniques. So what is it cheaper in? So this is the US price, remember? And the Canadian price, for Canadian pop is $5.10 per six pack. And that's Canadian. Which one would you prefer to buy? Well, spoiler for all of these problems, things are almost always cheaper in the US. So don't be surprised if this is what happens. This type of problem where we're converting both units of measurement and units of money at the same time comes up a lot in Canada. Gas in the United States is measured in gallons and it's measured in liters here. So it's important to be able to do that conversion. But using this method and multiplying through and keeping careful track of our units, you should never make that many mistakes, only small arithmetic ones. But once you get good at this, you won't make mistakes.